Hello, this is Simon Hyatt. I'm the contributing editor of Singapore Business Review magazine. Today I'm presenting the SBR International Business Awards, celebrating the outstanding projects and trailblazing initiatives of multinational organizations here in Singapore. Today I'm joined by Carlos Pinedo, CEO of PeakChamp, and Sumik Saxena, Specialty Business Development Director at Adicio Asia Pacific. Adicio Peak Champ Pro Europa has won the Agriculture Award in the SBR International Business Awards 2022. Carlos and Summit, thank you both for joining me today and congratulations on your award win. Thank you very much, Simon. We are very happy of uh, being with uh, you here today. Thank you very much, Simon, for having us here today. Carlos, can you please tell us a little bit more about your winning project, BioRisk Digital Biosecurity and Audits? What was the technology on which this solution is based? The technology is uh, very easy, but uh, robust, since technology never should be a barrier. For internal biosecurity control, we are tracking the movements of the people, and we have readers on the walls of the barns, and we have emitters, beacons, that farm staff is carrying. We only need Wi-Fi either on the whole farm or just one single point access. With this, the system is doing everything. So it's uh, not uh, difficult for the people at all. For external visitors, we only need a cell phone application and that can be connected to the GPS of the tracks of visitors. So simple, robust, and easy for the users, users, but quite powerful. Can you describe the traditional way to predict the potential disease dissemination among pig farms? How has BioRisk improved on the traditional process? Well, uh, traditionally, the control uh, among farms is uh, difficult and, and challenging. We have kind of a visitor's book using paper, using pens. And uh, if uh, you want to cross data or see the interactions and how one, one visitor is uh, doing this or a, a worker is doing that, it's almost impossible. So if we have no good data, it's impossible to generate good information. Uh, In this case, the technology, once that we have good information, is also allowing us to prevent diseases, do not allow the visitors to come in if they are not respecting the rules, reactive, generating early alerts if there's a breach on the biosecurity rules, and even predictive, since we are able to use those data by uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and alert about the probability of an outbreak. So it's uh, totally changing the, the, the way of working in this uh, way, from guessing to knowing. Summit, can you explain the kind of training farmers and vets need to undergo to effectively use BioRisk? Actually, a proper training to the farmers and veterinarians is required to actually maintain the uh, actual usage of uh, BioRisk program. Uh, What we do generally, a general reminder of biosecurity to all the staff members and veterinarians, including disease transmission. And uh, we also explain them how to use these equipments like beacons and readers and mobile apps to control visitors. And also making them understand the importance of interaction uh, among uh, different uh, farm managers or farm workers uh, and create a culture of uh, continuous improvement by uh, correcting the errors and uh, coaching those workers who actually requires uh, uh, improvement in uh, further uh, biosecurity program. Sumit, please describe how a farm or vet will control a particular farm's biosecurity from home. Uh, as we know that nowadays visiting farms uh, are becoming more and more difficult due to pandemics and due to human and animal health issues. So in this current scenario with virus in place, uh, vets can control uh, remotely uh, what's going on uh, at the farm and uh, they can actually track the movements of uh, people uh, uh, which is which are located away far away from uh, their location. Uh, and if every worker is uh, respecting the protocol, and then we can see the relation and we can actually evaluate uh, uh, 
uh, the the real impact of uh, those movements with the outbreaks and uh, kind of uh, you know on on farm examination like PCR tests and clinical symptoms so we can correlate very well that how are the things going. Uh, we can also track uh, on uh, visitors, people, truck, and suppliers that who are coming to the farm uh, located at a different uh, place, and uh, vets can actually react and, and on real time that okay, that the things are not going in a proper way. They can train the staff. They can provide uh, corrective measures uh, well in advance so that things are more uh, aligned to the expectations and uh, to keep the health and performance of the company in an effective way uh, than ever. Gentlemen, what does it mean for you and your teams to win in the SBR International Business Awards 2022? Of course, we are very proud. That is uh, quite obvious. But uh, for me, the, the, the most important thing is that uh, this, uh, the, this award is demonstrating uh, that uh, uh, digital transformation in practice can deliver very high uh, value is combining digital tools from uh, engineers, from uh, programmers, is uh, putting together the sector knowledge on health and epidemiology, but also is involving people. We, the people, are the most important uh, thing uh, on this. So, with this all, we will be more efficient as sector, as companies, as professionals. Uh, we will be more sustainable, controlling better health and decreasing the use of antibiotics. And we will also promote a higher engagement from the workers. So altogether, we think that is uh, showing that uh, digital transformation is adding great value. Sumit, what does it mean for you and your team to win in the SBR International Business Awards 2022? Yeah, it's really a matter of uh, uh, honor for us that we have uh, won this award. And uh, to me, actually, it's uh, uh, great encouragement to do better. And uh, as we know that digitalization in the farm, whether it's in biosecurity or product, uh, animal performance is really is the key concern of uh, 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 a current user or uh, food producer. And uh, yeah, it will help us to improve further and then to know and to reach out more customers in Asia Pacific so because it will give us more visibility for sure. And then we can actually understand the concerns of customer and then help them to, uh, uh, you know, uh, manage their issues that they are facing on regular, on, on routine basis. Carlos Pinedo and Sumit Saxena, thank you both so much for joining us today and congratulations on your award win. Many thanks to you, Simon. Every privilege uh, uh, being here and, uh, and we're very grateful again for the award. Thank you very much, Simon. Once again.